Hello Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Leo from the 20th to the 26th of May 2019. Um, don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my energy healing remedy videos, as well as my deck review videos that I have done. You will find them helpful and very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm going to start off with a general energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. And I'm using the Dream Power deck for this, and um, it's a very, very pretty deck. So have a look. Hmm. There's a lot of numbers in this car, uh, this read today. So you've got the moon uh, card over here. So being um, a bit confused, maybe in matters of the heart, um, there's a lot of clouds over there. Uh, so um, there might be some movement going on in that love life of yours. Um, maybe you're trying to, you know, maybe you're trying to get out of a relationship. This could be the case. This is why the heart has got wings. <coughs> so maybe you're trying to leave this particular relationship. Uh, there's a lot of shadow in it, so this is talking about some dark clouds, if you like, over the relationship. So there could be some problems going on over here. Now you've got the jewel card over here, so there's some financial success that has come in recently or will be coming in for you soon. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, a lot of um, wealth shown over there on that particular cushion. So uh, there could be some kind of windfall, some kind of money going on over there. And you've got gold, so there looks like there is money coming in as well. Got a lot of gold ingots over here, uh, so uh, it looks like there's some kind of uh, windfall coming in, or some maybe it could be an, in, an inheritance uh, for you as well. Um, so that could be uh, something, or you could have, uh, you know, you could be winning on the stock market. But there's definitely a, a, a large influx of money coming in over here that's going to give you a lot of uh, comfort um, and satisfaction. So, in the past, you've got the mask over there, and you've got a seven. Now, the mask card is, sh is crying. There's a tear on this particular mask. Um, and you can see that, you know, you've been deceived by somebody, and this has upset you quite a bit. So, there's been a lot of tears that you have shed. Uh, whoever it was uh, made promises to you that were not fulfilled, or they made false promises to you. They pretended to be uh, somebody who cared for you and didn't. And maybe this is why this heart has got, uh, you know, uh, wings or there's clouds within this particular card because you're very heartbroken about what happened. You've got the seven. Now the sevens usually in the in the tarot they deal with uh, you know having too many options, uh, having illusions about things, uh, making investments that don't pay out. Uh, you know. Um, also, uh, having people that are sneaking around, uh, lying to you, deceiving you, uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, and you know, you're having to, uh, uh, you know, take control of the situation because the other card that the seven rules is the chariot card. So this is about taking control of a situation and trying to win and overcome a lot of difficulties. And you know, it's showing, um, you know, a lot of difficulties within the home life, on your personal um, uh, space, you know, a lot of um, difficulties maybe with a partner or within that home or family life as well. So you could have been dealing with that. Maybe there was a lot of deception that went on within that. So you're trying to get over that. You're pretty heartbroken about it and you're trying to overcome that particular heartbreak situation. It looks like on the work front there is money coming in or there is finances coming in because you've got the nine coming in after that. Now the nine usually is, you know, a completion, nearly the completion of a cycle and it's they are usually cards about being s successful. The nine of... Um, Swords is about being anxious about something and expecting the worst case scenario, but that's in your hopes and your fears. You know, you're worried that things are not going to work out. But the, with the Nine of Pentacles, uh, you know, you, you get that success coming in for you. Um, and, uh, you know, with the Hermit, which also rules Nine, it's showing, uh, you know, about insight coming in. Uh, you know, maybe having to do it by yourself, but working very hard, being very, very focused, becoming an expert at whatever you're doing, and success coming in for you. The Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillments as well. So 
So it looks like that kind of energy coming in for you. With the six is about, you know, uh, changes coming in after a difficult situation. So leaving behind past difficulties and really moving forward being given the help that you need or the help that you seek, uh, but having to make a decision about moving away from things uh, that are no longer serving you, making some kind of big life-changing decision with that six, uh, and moving away from, from obstacles, uh, leaving behind uh, past situations or past people that are no longer serving you. So in order for you to ex as, you know, be successful at what you're doing, it looks like you're going to have to walk away from those difficult scenarios uh, and, you know, cut your ties with with that past and move forward so those are the energies coming in for that week so i'm just going to draw some cards for the parrot tarot and this is um this is a very very unusual deck um and uh, i've put it in the description box i have shuffled the deck Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups, and it was shown, uh, you know, you've had a nine in your energy read as well. So definitely a wish fulfillment coming in and a lot of happiness coming in. You've got Jupiter sitting in Pisces, so at the end of a difficult situation. And, you know, uh, with Jupiter, it's about expansion and abundance coming in for you. So uh, this is excellent. So happiness and uh, wishes being fulfilled with that Nine of Cups energy coming in for you. So you have been, uh, you know, dealing maybe with some legal situations with that Queen of Swords, but you are determined. You have gone through a, a lot of heartache, a lot of problems. You were dealing with, uh, you know, people that were not working. Uh, the relationship was not working out. She's almost, you know, she's sitting on a throne of clouds. So, you know, being very, very upset, very confused. Uh, but she's also got somebody's head in her hand. So it looks like you're going to have to cut out, uh, you know, what is not serving you. You are taking a stand. You are very determined to succeed. And you are going to be moving forward. You can see these birds are flying forward. So you're going to get messages probably about um, you know news that's going to help you move forward. And that's going to give you back the power in your hand again. Now it's crossed by the devil. So you know you could have uh, had had problems in your work life here with the devil. This is the card that is ruled by Capricorn, which is, uh, you know, uh, Saturn, really. You may have been feeling very chained, very manipulated. Uh, you know, you can see there's a lot of masks in this card. So you were dealing with a lot of deceptive people as well. Uh, but now insight is coming. You've got that eye over there. You can see things from a different perspective and you can see who the devil is. So you know who the ma manipulator is. Uh, and it looks like, you know, that's given you a lot of insight. So you're not blind to whatever's going on anymore. You are now coming into the light and you are seeing people for whom they are. And you are determined to get some heads rolling. You know, you're determined to take a stand and you're not letting anybody control you anymore. So in the past, you've got the eight of discs. Uh, this is prudence in this particular deck. So, you know, being very cautious with money. Uh, you've got sun in Virgo. Virgo is the card of is the sign of caution and you know your focus has been about on your money on your work um, you you know you've been working and learning a lot as well in that job uh, you're becoming an expert at whatever that is and it's starting to generate finance as well so uh, a lot of focus has been going on your work life in this past year now going uh, into the last three months you've got the four of cups of year so um, you know the four of cups you've got moon in cancer it's in its sign you've been very emotional about what's been going on whatever's been happening has been upsetting you maybe you've been trying to form relationships as well and maybe there's been some kind of breakdown in communication between you and the person that you are in love with there's been some some kind of problem that has been going on now with the four of cups uh, you know with the moon in cancer it's about also focused on your home life or your family life with the moon in cancer maybe some kind of issues that you're having with a mother figure or a mother as well there have me maybe there has been a breakdown of communication some kind of problem that has caused you to cry a lot 
really so there has been some kind of problem that you have been dealing with now the fours are about stability so you are getting on top of that situation stability has been coming in for you uh you're getting it together again so where there's been a problem you can see these mugs are broken you can see you know there might have been a reconciliation that happened between you and the person uh that you had a break up with or uh, some kind of issue with so whatever's been going on in the home life it seems like you are resolving that situation now, what's in your mind? You've got the Prince of Wands. So you might be thinking about doing some travel uh, with regards to your work, uh, or maybe you've got an, a, a new job offer. This is the uh, Prince of Wands, which generally talks about relocating to do a job somewhere else. So you might be thinking of traveling to go and do a new job in another country, in a foreign country, meeting people. So taking control of that situation as well. Uh, this man has been, uh, you know, he's got the lion over the year. So you've got, you're acting with a lot more confidence right now. And maybe you're thinking of traveling to go to do, do the same job somewhere else in another country. And it looks like you're going to make that leap. Because you can see uh, this, um, whatever this creature is, it's got a, the, the body of a bear and, um, uh, you know, the, the top half of a man over there. So you, it looks like, and he's crossing this, uh, this little ravine here, uh, or uh, it looks like he's moving from one landmass to another landmass. So, you know, bears usually signify big jobs or signify working for big companies. This is the mentor of discs over here. It looks like there's some kind of offer coming in that's going to be quite uh, good. Um, you know, paying very, very well. And there's a lot of victory for you. This offer has come in uh, from somebody, you know, it, it, there's, it looks like there's a foreign connection there. The scent here is, uh, you know, usually ruled by Sagittarius. And that is usually about foreign travel or, or working in a foreign country. So it looks like this person's made an offer for you and you're going to take that leap and go travel to go and do that job. So you might be moving um, and, you know, you're thinking about it because you've got that Prince of Wands as well. You may, maybe you've been putting your CV out so this looks like getting a job in a foreign country and it, you know, brings in the rainbow. So that means that whatever this job is, it's going to pay you very, very well. And uh, it's going to, you know, get rid of all your financial worries or anxieties that you've been going through. Now you've got the Princess of Cups over here. So this is another offer coming in for you. Um, and, uh, you know, this is... Um, this is an offer for either, you know, could be for further study. This is, whatever this offer is, it's going to be very, very rewarding for you. You find it very, very emotionally fulfilling to take up this offer. So that is coming in for you. You might have been, you know, going, going through a lot of emotional upset in the past, but it looks like there's a new offer that has, or will be coming in for you soon. You've got, um... Uh, dolphins over here which always talks about intellectual work so you know you could be doing a further study as well specializing in whatever you're doing uh, there's definitely some kind of offer coming in you know the, the princess of one uh, cups is also if you're single this could be a um uh, an emotional offer an invitation coming in for you a social invitation for you as well and you've got the Prince of Cups. So somebody there uh, has got their eye on you. So like I said, this could either be on the emotional front. So there could be a new love coming in as well with this Prince of Cups. If you're already involved in a relationship, uh, there could be a, an apology that comes in as well with that Prince of Cups. Uh, but also it could be, uh, you know, um, an offer to do further study. Uh, cups deals with knowledge and education so this could be a an offer to further your career uh, by doing further study and you've got the three of cups over here so what you want is abundance this is in your hopes and fears uh, you know this is what you've been thinking about you want to establish uh, a, a good home maybe you want to buy a house uh, because you've got that uh, cancer card over, a uh, cancer sign over there, and you're thinking about it a lot because you've got Mercury sitting in Cancer there. So you're waiting for the abundance to come in, uh, and you're waiting for uh, you know your cups to be fulfilled. You want emotional fulfillment. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Discs, uh, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Wands over here. So with the Four of Discs is power coming into your hand again. You've got Sun in Capricorn. This is power on the work front. And this is being able to have an established job, 
uh, an established income uh, coming in and a lot of financial stability coming in. So that is coming in for you. Power coming back into your hand again and financial security coming in. Now, uh, you've got the Ruin card sitting next to it. So you are leaving behind a very difficult situation. There might have been some kind of legal situation that you were dealing with, official situation, something where there was some kind of be betrayal as well could have happened. It was a very, very big event, caused a lot of drama. There may have been a lot of loss as well that you faced, but it looks like, you know, you are closing the chapter on that and you are going to be moving on. You're still very worried, still very anxious and still very distraught about what happened, but it looks like, you know, you are going to be ending that situation um, and moving on to a new chapter in your life. And with that King of Wands, it looks like that offer for travel is coming in and it's a position of authority. You are. It looks like you might be getting a job in a different country or a foreign country that gives you a lot more authority. So there's travel indicated over here, but this is also a new enterprise, a new project uh, and moving on to another country to do this work that you're doing. So it looks like you're going to be changing, uh, moving on and starting a new job somewhere else. You're leaving behind all the negativity uh, and problems that you've been going and and it seems like your focus is being on your work or will be on your work. And there's a wish fulfillment coming in uh, with this nine of cups as well. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, angel uh, tarot. And that's for the uh, oracle read. So it looks like you're going down a new path. You've got the renewal card over here. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of uh, the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So it looks like you're making a decision and you're going to be moving on. The judgment card or the renewal card is about uh, you know changing your course, uh, going on for something that you are uh, better suited to or something that you always wanted to do. You'll be gi you're being given a second chance to do it. And it's going to bring in a lot of fulf fulfillment. And with the renewal card or the judgment card, it's usually a lot of success. And it's followed by the king of earth over your successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you are offered the Midas touch. So whatever this new direction that you're going to go in, uh, you know, you might be taking your family and moving overseas. You can see there's a sea over there um, and this pers uh, this family standing in front of it. So you're being called upon to make that decision to move on. And it looks like it's going to generate a lot of income, a lot of wealth, everything you're touching, turning to gold with that Midas touch. And it's a position of great authority as well. And, uh, you know, a great abundance. You've got the Empress card over here, which says lavish abundance, uh, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others so whatever this job is uh, it gives you a lot of um, comfort uh, you might be buying a new home uh, and it brings in a lot of wealth as well because this is the card ruled by venus which is talking about wealth and abundance uh, and stability as well uh, because venus rules uh, taurus and this is talking about you know material success so whatever you're going to do whatever change you're making whatever new job you're taking uh, um it looks like it's going to be very, very successful for you and it's going to give you a great position of authority as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and well done um, and be positive, stay positive. And thank you so much for uh, watching this. Um, take care now. Goodbye.